For 46 years, the Uganda Cup has been the second most prestigious home accolade. It attracts all registered clubs under FUFA. KCCA, who have won it eight times, will tomorrow battle for the accolade against Paisa Black Angels, a team founded in the same year as the Cup, 1971. Paida will take a 94-kilometer trip to Arua, whilst KCCA journey about 442 kilometers. Both clubs meet and play at this ground tomorrow at 4 p.m. In Paida town, fans are eclectic, waving flags of the club from shops and on motorcycles. The club initially started in 1971 as a meeting of businessmen that plied trade with the DRC has since evolved. It used to be a team of business community. But then later on, you know, with the business community, you find that uh, uh, they want some income generating sort of a team. In the MOF, it reached perhaps its most successful place in Ugandan football at the Uganda Cup Finals this year. I've knocked out the person who has been playing the champions in the Continental, and that's Vipers. And after knocking the Vipers 1-0, Vipers went and knocked KCC. So I, don't, I, think, I don't think KCC is a big problem. It's an issue I can solve. The team, though, faces arguably Uganda's best-fitted squad, one that has been playing Continental football, and its players fresh from helping the national side win their first encounter at AFCON in Cape Verde. But we're going to face an opposition, so there's going to be a challenge, of course and a stiff one. They have nothing to lose. We are the favorites, so they're coming out to prove themselves. It's not going to be uh, an easy game. Paisa is a small town here at the border between Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. But this town, with its busy activity, has burst with it a team that everyone is affectionate about, the Paisa Black Angels. Tomorrow they will go up against KCCAFC, who are the Ugandan champions with the hope that they will bring a title that will breathe life into this town, the Uganda Cup. Raymond Mujini, Paisa Town.